Authority Local Forecast. All right, we made it to the holiday season here in the desert southwest as Thanksgiving is literally right around the corner. You've probably heard me say that a bajillion times, but hey, we're excited. All right, here's what we're looking at with your RV World Yuma Sky Cam. We got a little bit of traffic along 16th Street and 4th Avenue in Yuma. Here's what else we got in regards to what we're seeing with your satellite radar perspective. Just a few strips of cloud coverage in central to Southern California, and you got to go further to the north to see any sort of inclement weather whatsoever. So nothing like that happening in the desert southwest, nor will it be anytime soon. But temperature is certainly going to continue to go downward. As you can see, we're in the 50s for the most part in the Imperial Valley. We venture over into the eastern side of things to the Yuma area. You can see in some cases, yeah, getting into the 40s. Yeah, high in 40s in Welton as well as Tacna. Now beyond this, we got this ginormous system that's not very potent. I mean, it's not the strongest of winter storm systems. So if anything, it's going to definitely keep us in the cool. If anything, drop our temperatures down a little bit further. You can see the middle of this thing continuing to go through uh, the Grand Canyon State come tomorrow and Black Friday. And then we'll be on the back end of this system come Black Friday. And yes, we'll keep it cool. It'll be the coolest of the cool before we start to slowly rise those temperatures up. As far as Thanksgiving is concerned, here's what we're looking forward to throughout the day. Whenever it is, you're going to be munching turkey. Me, I'd prefer to be doing it at 9 a.m. I'm just a little strange that way, but nonetheless, as you can see, we're going to be even keeled to say the least. So we are going to keep it uh, very nice for Thanksgiving and beyond. Your Yuma International Airport extended forecast gives you a glimpse of a couple of low end 70 temperatures to round out the holidays for Thanksgiving as well as Black Friday and then we get to the rest of your holiday weekend looking real nice and we're going to keep it that way as well. We go up a little bit Monday and Tuesday, then we start to go down again. So this is the kind of range we want to have and we haven't really said that much this year, but here we are in late November, early December getting into this mode. So better later than never, but here it is right there in the Imperial Valley. You can see we might even get into the high end 60s for a day before getting back into the 70s and your overnights in some cases uh, closer to freezing, but not quite there.